Hey guys, it's Alyssa Marie, and today we are back talking about our next star seed type. You guys voted on the poll, and the next type of star seed and star being to be talked about is going to be the draconians. Now, before we get into it, I do want to say a lot of my information, again, is from other sources on the draconians. Um, a lot of it does come from Cosmic Empress, and I've kind of compiled what she has said and made it a little bit shorter order for you guys to understand, but if you want to know more about the Draconians, I do recommend her channel. However, I don't agree with everything she says about the Draconians, so keep that in mind. You know, it's always good to keep your own um, opinions. You know, you can take from other people, but whatever you perceive, you know, keep that in mind. Because with the Draconians, there are a lot of negative stereotypes around the draconians and we will get into that and for the large part for the most part i believe them to be accurate however not everyone from a particular race right or being is bad is evil is inherently evil because that is honestly racist to say in my opinion and it's just putting that divide again, like these are the bad guys, these are the good guys. So I do want to, to point that out. However, let's get into it and you'll see more about what I mean in a second, okay? This is a little bit more of a darker group for the most part. Um, but nothing that I'm going to say is 100% because there is not always everyone is bad, right? That's never the case and that's not what I'm trying to give here. I'm just trying to give from what I perceive and what other people perceive. Okay, let's get into it. So, first off, they're dr draconians. Um, they come from the star or star system known as Alpha Draconis, which is approximately 303 light years away from Earth. Okay, if you look back at some of our old videos, this one is a long way away from Earth. It's also known Alpha Dracon Draconis as Thuban or Thuban. I believe it's Thuban. I might be saying that incorrectly. If so, I am so sorry. Um, please let me know how to say it. But it comes from the Arabic word of the same name and it stands for or it translates to large snake. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, it also comes from Draco, meaning dragon. Now, the Draconians are said to be an evil, warmongering race or being, I should say. Now, once again, not all of them are. That is what I perceive. But originally, they were said to be dragons. And these dragon beings had these magical powers and really were just fine. And one day they decided to use their negative powers, or I mean their powers for negative acts, and therefore um, they were cut off from source energy. So all of us, all of us beings are directly linked to the universe, directly linked to source energy in some way or another. Supposedly the Draconians originally were not. And as well, this is supposed to be something that they chose. So according to Cosmic Empress, and I talk about Cosmic Empress a lot because, you know, there really isn't that much out there on star seeds and star beings because it's a very um, newly talked about thing. So there's not much on Draconians because a lot of people group them bad, which we'll get into that. So, if you don't know already, the Draconians are also known as the Reptilians. They are a subgroup of Reptilians. Some people um, say that those are synonymous, Reptilians and Draconians, and maybe they are, but I perceive them to be a subgroup, but I might be wrong. Um, now, anyway, so they got cut off from source energy and because of that these dragon beings which by the way dragon beings i can do a video about dragons there are usually very positive higher dimensional beings um because they were cut off from source energy their powers were taken from them they lost their powers and over hundreds and hundreds of thousands of years they lost their wings so they were wingless and they were powerless, okay? 
And somehow, according to Cosmic Empress again, I'll, I'm going to be saying that over and over, so I, I won't say it anymore. A lot of this has to do from Cosmic Empress. They were then taken somehow and put onto Alpha Dr Draconis because where they reside now is Alpha Dr Draconis. I can't say that, goodness. But before they lived on this other place in a different dimension. And apparently they wreaked so much havoc on this other dimension, in this other parallel universe, I should say, that they were forced to move out and given to this universe, okay? Which some could say is unfortunate. Now, as I was talking about, they used to be those dragon beings, they used their powers for evil, they lost their wings, which is very similar to, you know, the Christian story of Lucifer defying God and falling from heaven and reigning, hell, reigning over hell, correct? So that's quite interesting. Now, there is said to be a collective trauma due to this event. So because they lost their powers and because they lost their wings, their ability to fly, all of this, th there is this collective trauma for those who identify as a draconian, starseed. Now, over the time that they were in and on Dralfa, why can't I not say that? I keep saying Dralfa Aconis. What is wrong with me, guys? Alpha Draconis, while they were there, they were able to regain their powers, okay? So as they regained their powers, it took a long time, again, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of years, their powers were not where they used to be, but they were better, they were back. It was then that they were able to relearn time travel and space travel and jumping around and they were able to go onto other planets, other star systems. And that is when there were they were part of the Orion Wars, uh, right? They they were on Lyra and that is the memory that I talked to you guys about before about the reptilians coming in. And a lot of times they would go and they would wreak havoc. There was a lot of killing. There was a lot of trying to take control. So that part of history was negative, right? Um, but see, the thing is, is that it wasn't like they came in and they were like brute force, destruction, destruction. It wasn't like that, okay? The way that I perceive it, and a lot of people perceive it, is that they are very charming individuals. They were able, like a snake, to slither their way into positions of power in order to then fully control and destroy a system. Um, and that is why some people believe people in positions of authority today in politics, um, other types of leaders in religions, can be draconian souls. Now you can also be partially draconian and not fully draconian. So that's something to keep in mind. But again, not all, in my opinion, and this is where I differ with other people, so have your own opinion. But in my opinion, not all of the draconian souls are bad. Some of them have went through many years after all of those wars and have decided to relearn lessons about being benevolent, about being good beings. And they were able to then have a connection to Source again, and they were able to then show the good parts of their being type. So let's talk a little bit about their appearance again. I know I mentioned it, but here we go. So I'll show some pictures here. I'm sure you guys have a good idea. So they are, they look like reptiles. They look like big lizards, like a monitor lizard. Um, they have no wings. They're tall. I saw somewhere that they are anywhere between 6 and 12 feet tall. They're, they have scales. And they have that kind of reptilian eye. However, that's the original being, right? If, if a soul has incarnated as a human fully, they're going to look human. And sometimes, like, the way that I perceive it 
a person that could be a reptilian, okay? Just because someone's a bad person doesn't mean they're a reptilian either because there are bad people from any star being, from any star system. There are bad Lyrans, there are bad Pleiadians, there are bad Arcturians, there are bad humans, right? But uh, the best way I would say is, well, a good one in my opinion would be like Ted Bundy, okay? Some people won't agree with me, but Ted Bundy basically was a really evil guy, okay? He killed many, he killed women, he raped women, but he was very educated and he was very charming and people trusted him, right? And then that's when he did the destruction. That's not somebody who just decides, oh, I'm going to just, you know, do all these bad things and it's, they slither their way in could be that's like a good description of somebody but you could tell you know in the look of Ted Bundy's eye right there's evil there now sometimes though in positions of power some people believe like presidents of certain countries some people believe people up in the Vatican you know there's a there's a lot of different beliefs out there about who's a reptilian and uh, anyway that's controversial and I don't know where I stand on that um, so I won't get too much into that. I do believe that yes, there are people in power definitely that probably are partially draconian or that are fully draconian. But once again, not all draconians are bad. So to be draconian is not something to be ashamed of. If you feel that you are a draconian starseed, if you feel that you are fully draconian and you feel as if you, are cha you have changed your, your ways over time, your soul has changed, nothing to be afraid of. When I hear draconian, most people think, ah, negative soul, negative soul. And, you know, your mind might go there because of all the history, but that doesn't mean that all of them are negative. So believe me, if you feel connected to draconis, alpha draconis, there is a beta draconis as well, I believe. Um, or no way. Is there a beta draconis? Or am I thinking of beta centauri? I don't have my computer up. But anyway, back to what I was saying, they're not all bad. That's basically what I want to let you guys know and I really wanted to get out of this video. They are not all bad, I perceive that. Now, what have I not talked about? Let me look at my notes here. All right, yes. So we're going to then move on to the draconian star seeds. So there's not much information about a draconian star seed. Um now draconian star seed missions is a little bit, you know, when I look I, I a lot of people say oh to wreak havoc. It's like mm, not necessarily. To be in a position of power, yes, but they don't always have to be in a position of power to then destroy, okay? So let's get into it. I would say there's a definite connection to reptiles if you feel that, you know, you're connected to lizards, you're connect connected to snakes, you might often have these types of animals as pets, which I have a gecko, I have a reptile, so, and I don't identify as a draconian, so keep that in mind as well. Um, they love the heat um, because Alpha Draconis is actually very warm, very hot. Um, they might have a connection with dragons because they were originally dragons. However, their soul has evolved and dragons are completely different nowadays. Um, they might have an interest in politics, in technology, in hierarchies, in leadership roles, and they're also very charming individuals. That's all the traits I can give you, which is kind of upsetting because I wish I could give you more, but surprisingly with the research I've done and my own my own research, other people's research, it is hard to find anything that doesn't bad talk the draconians which i actually find really upsetting because i thought we were better than that you know i mean we have issues on our own planet with racism and sexism and we could really talk about that couldn't we guys i thought we were better than that to put that label on another group and say that they're all like that we do know that a vast majority of them are negative souls from that period however they are not all negative souls in my opinion so I hope that you guys learned something. I know it was a lot of information and it is a little bit of controversial information, but I thought this would be a good group to talk about. There is not much out there. If you have any experience, 
if you identify as a draconian or you have had a past life as a draconian that you know of or you've had a um, experience with a draconian in the past or the present or what you believe to be feel free to leave it down below feel free to post anything down below that you would like to add about draconians i love having other people's inputs and i will see you in the next video okay guys have a wonderful rest of your day Bye bye